From the Linmar Technology and Communication Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Wake up, Linmar. Put your shoes on. It's time for LMTV. It's Wednesday, January 26, 2011. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, and any 8th graders watching us on YouTube, you will have only until Friday and at 3.30 to register for next year's classes. If you have any questions about registering online, stop by the counselor's office today. Don't wait until Friday. Juniors, as you are registering this week, check out the MOC program. Earn 30 school credits while, while you work and earn money. Applications are available from Mrs. Larson in room F162. Any student who would like to participate in the American Mathematics Competition on Tuesday, February 8th, please see your math teacher or Mrs. Mawson in room F157 to sign up. We will be back with more LNTV news right after these messages. You've seen her on the KCRG TV9 Evening News. Now you can meet Beth Malicki as she comes to visit LMTV. Learn what it takes to become a news anchor, reporter, or just stop by and say hi. That's Wednesday, February 9th from 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. in the new LMTV studios. See you there. I am so depressed. Why? When I speak. I sound like a robot. There is a cure for that. Really? Yes. Take speech class or become a member of the speech team. I don't know. Isn't it just standing in front of a bunch of people and talking? No way. You'll learn how to use some really cool technology to make people want to hear what you have to say. Like this commercial. T had to sound like fun. How can I find out more? Talk to Mrs. Fry. She is in room A107. Do it today. Welcome back. Contest speech participants who made it to state. Congratulations! But guess what? That's only the first step. If you want to make it to Allstate, you need to rehearse and fine-tune your entries. That's what all 300 other schools are doing this week. What about you? See Mr. or Mrs. Fry today. Now Dan takes a look at this morning's sports. Thanks, Caitlin. On the scoreboard, girls basketball had no problem with Waterloo East. Our girls won 80-15. to The sophomores also won 85-11. to Good job, girls. In boys basketball, it was Linmar 79, East 52. The sophomores also won 69 to 46. In the wide world of Linmar sports, there will be a short meeting for all guys interested in going out for track this spring. It's Monday after school in room 1269. Oh, 129, sorry. Anyone playing, planning on playing baseball, there will be a short meeting tomorrow after school in room G139. Any freshman, sophomore, or junior interested in trying out for cheerleading for next year, listen up. Come to one of the informational meetings on Wednesday, February 2nd at 8 a.m. or 3.20 p.m. in Miss Young Kent's room. That's sports, Caitlin. Back to you. Oh, thanks, Dan. And news from the counselors, anyone interested in taking a Kirkwood Career Edge Academy for next year should sign up in the counseling office. You cannot sign up for these academies with the online registration. Questions? Stop by the front desk in the counseling office. And don't forget to register for next year's classes. Registration must be completed by Friday at 3.30 p.m. For details, stop by the counseling office or check out their website. Now, Natalie joins us with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Clayton. On the Linmar Arts and Clubs scene, attention FBLA members. Join us tonight at 7 p.m. at Castle Lanes in Marion for some bowling. Remember, those of you attending SLC, this will count as one of your activities. Math team will practice today after school in room F-157. There will be a short Model UN meeting tomorrow morning at 8.15 in room E-133. Please see Mr. Garrels if you have any questions. Creators Who Care will be making Valentines for Vets tomorrow morning at 8. Anyone is welcome. Join them in the Child Development Room, L33. The sign-up sheet for individual contest speech events is now posted outside room A107. If you want to learn more about individual speech events, come to an informal meeting Monday morning at 8 in Mrs. Fry's room. If you are familiar with the events, you do not need to attend, but you do need to sign up for your events. Linmar's Diversity Club Voice will meet Friday morning at 8 in the food court. 
They will be discussing activities for the coming months, including monthly dinners, their Eats What They Can benefit dinner, and diversity days. All are welcome. Tech for the Playtime Poppy show Aristocats will start Monday at 3.15 in the Little Theater. FFA members planning to ski at sundown this Saturday, please get your money to Miss Lemmer ASAP. Also, there are extra seats on the bus, so if you are interested in going, also please see Miss Lemmer. Caitlin, that's your Arts and Clubs update. Back to you. Oh, well, thanks, Natalie. Today on Channel 1, a closer look at the State of the Union address. That's today at 3 on LMTV. Now, Mr. Dan Russell joins us with today's lunch. Thanks, Caitlin. Hopefully you don't find Nemo in your lunch today, because it's a fish sandwich, potato wedge, and peaches. The other lines will offer the hamburger bar, pizza, chef salads, or a la carte items. The food court opens with everybody's favorite, pasta bar. That's lunch. Caitlin, back to you. Oh, thanks, Dan. Your LMTV forecast calls for a dreary day. It will be mostly cloudy with a high of 22. Tonight, it will be mostly cloudy with a low of 11. Tomorrow, look for scattered flurries with a high of 27. Well, that wraps, up, that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.